Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Danielle and today I have a collective thrift store haul for you. I've accumulated all of these items that I have off to the side here over the past three weeks. So just keep in mind that I didn't get all of this stuff at once and I also did not get it from the same store either. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. The first item is a Lucky Brand bag. It's a messenger bag. My mom actually got it for me and she got it for herself. And then she was like, do you want it to resell? And I said yes, if she wasn't going to use it. So I just went ahead and got that for her, from her. So thank you, Mom. The next item, the next two items are actually going to be purses, is this tooled crossbody bag. I thought it was really cute with the design. And it says it was from Chili. It has it etched at the bottom here. So, I thought it was cute, so I got it. The next item is another purse that I was super excited to find because I think I'm going to keep it, and it was this vintage Dooney and Burke messenger style bag. It was in pretty decent condition, too. The inside is clean, it's all leather, and it just had all the right signs that it was authentic. Um... And then it had the like authenticity tag in it. So I really liked it. I, I found like three already in the thrift store. So this will probably, I think, be my fourth one. The next item we are moving on into like accessories for now is this Wilson's Leather Tool Belt. It has a cute little flower design. The next several items are going to be hats. I really enjoy selling straw hats, um, but lately they haven't been selling for me, which I, I don't know, kind of eat my own words there. I do enjoy selling them. The three I have listed currently just haven't sold, and usually they're pretty quick sellers, so I don't know. I might take that back later. So here is a Lauren Conrad um, floppy straw hat. I believe it's one size and inside it just says take me away I'm packable so I thought that was cute the next one is just a shimmery straw hat no brand and actually there is a brand it's like this deer logo so if any of you know what that is and could comment down below. I would really appreciate that because I have no idea what brand that is. This next one I thought was really fun. I like getting quirky things like this. So it's like a watermelon hat. And it says August Hat Company is the brand. Okay, so now I'm going to move on into shoes and then we'll move on into like all the clothing items that I have. So, these are kids' Sorel boots. I always pick up Sorel because they sell super quick for me, and I think they're just like a really well-made brand. I live in Arizona, so we like really don't have any use for these, but when I find them, I definitely pick them up. And I also found another pair of brown ones. They're more toddler. Oh, oops. You can see the logo there. The next pair of shoes are the Skechers Chunky Heel with the zipper. I actually used to own a pair of these and then I got rid of them a long time ago. And I kind of kicked myself in the butt for that because Try On Thrift sold them for like $100, I think, on her Depop. So when I saw these, I was super excited. So my hopes is that I can get a decent amount of money for these. More pairs of shoes. I really enjoy selling outdoor brand stuff like athletic wear, shoes, all that um, because I personally like hiking and I think it's really fun to just sell that stuff because I know I enjoy it. So whenever I see like outdoor brands at the thrift store and I'm able to find them, it's just really exciting to me. So of course I pick them up. These shoes are a pair of Anu's. And I believe Anu is owned by Teva or Teva Sandals. And these I just found 
They were in pretty good condition. They're an outdoor water shoe and they're perfect for, you know, different types of terrain. So I picked those up. I personally own Anu hiking boots, so I just like the brand. Last pair of shoes were these nice leather Merrell's sandals. And I want to say they're probably like by the same person who donated the other shoes because um, they're like the same size and outdoor brands, but can't always assume that. Okay, so now I have a lot of clothing, as you could see on this rack. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with that. So I'm going to start with sports bras and move into like shorts, tanks, and then regular people clothes that you would wear like every day, unless you're like me and I wear sportswear every day. So this is a sports bra that is an online brand and I will type in the name when I remember it because I posted in a Poshmark group asking what this brand was and now I've forgotten. So I will type it somewhere right here. I've never seen these two slashes before, but it seemed really well made. So I just got it anyway. The next sports bra, bra is by Mink Pink Move. And it's this cute like bandana style print. That's what the back looks like. And it has like this little front slit that you could see through or for breathability, I guess. The next bra is a peony in me, I think. Let me check. Yeah, it says Peony in Me. I don't know who makes that, but it's a cute mesh back. The next bra is a Brooks bra. I believe they make running shoes. And this was like new with tags, so I figured I'd pick it up. And I like that the bra is like Velcro and you could move the strap and adjust it that way. I think that's a neat feature. The next sports bra is a Keith Herring artwork. I think I might keep this for me. Um, it's from Forever 21, I found out. And so I don't think it'll sell for very much. So I think I might just wear it a little bit and then resell it later. This next bra is not a sports bra. It is a plus size bra. I may have mentioned before on my channel that plus size bras do decently well. Um, I normally just buy Cacique bras. I believe they're sold at Lane Bryant. They're not a huge money maker, but they do sell fairly quickly and like they're just guaranteed money. So if you can find those, I encourage you to pick those up. These next two swimsuits I thought were really nice and on trend. However, I think I might reg have regretted like buying both of them because after you know getting home and thinking about it the crochet detail is kind of like not the best now but i bought this for me so we'll see i'll just have to get over it and then this one i really liked the floral print i thought it was super cute but upon like thinking about it more it's like super small and so it's just like I don't know if it was for kids, but it doesn't look like it could be for kids. And it's by the brand. It looks like Pukas, but then when you look at the tag itself and um, and like further inspection of it, it says PVKAS. I just think I'm going to have like a hard time selling that. Okay, so now we're moving on and out into workout shorts. I bought these for me. They're not that fancy or anything. It's just like a, a brand sold at like Walmart or TJ Maxx. I liked the little eyelet triangle cutouts. And I like that they have the spandex underneath. So these I'll be keeping. I also might take them back just because I'm, I'm not sure. You know, in Arizona, things have been like crazy. So... The moment I've been able to get out and go thrifting, you kind of just get excited when you see everything. So it's just like grab, 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 whatever you can. And then when you get home and it kind of settles in, it's kind of like, okay, well, why did I buy that? So that's, that's that. 
I found these cycling shorts and they're by Aerotech Cycling and it has like the padded crotch area, you know, from like to prevent it from hurting, to prevent your bottom from hurting on the hard bike seat, I'm assuming. Um, comps look pretty good. I've never heard of the brand before. I thought they were nice, so see how those will do. The next pair of shorts, I knew that they were Lululemon Spring Breakaway shorts. However, for the longest time, I could not find the logo because it was black. And so I knew exactly what these were. And I knew because the logo is also on the little pin here of the drawstrings. I personally have these shorts. So that's how I knew. And these are a size two. So I was excited to find these because they didn't mark them up that much. Now we're moving on into athletic tanks. So this first one is like a praying hands and it's by Yoga Nastics. And I researched that because I've never heard of the brand and it, from what I've read, it's based out of Arizona. So I don't know if it's like just a locally owned company or what, um, cause I haven't heard of them. So I picked it up anyway, just to see how it would do. The next two items I'm assuming are from the same person. They are two spiritual gangster um, tank tops. One says choose happiness and the other one says you are my, or you are the yin to my yang. So I got those just to see how they would do. The next um, three or four tank tops are from someone's Fabletics collection, which I thought some of these were pretty nice. Like, I don't normally pick up Fabletics too much, but I liked them enough because they were just different and interesting. So this is a white Fabletics crisscross top. And when you wear it, it's supposed to, like, you know, be more fuller. And then that way you see, like, the sides of your upper hip through those sides. So I thought that was an interesting design. The next one is a Fabletics tank top and it has the scoop back. Here's another one in like a teal blue and it has the open back. And there was a black one like this, but it just seemed really faded and like really linty. So I just didn't feel like getting that one. And then the last Fabletics tank top is this black one with that type of design there. And then the see-through cutout slits in the back. Now we're moving on to aloe yoga, and I might keep this for myself because I like the scoop back and I like the mesh detailing. Here's a Lorna Jane animal print. I think it's cheetah, leopard with a keyhole back. And that is it for like athletic wear. Here are some tops now that are tank tops. You might notice that I chose a lot of black and white. One, I'm looking for stuff for me that'll match some skirts that I could really use just basic tank tops for. And then the other, they just like, uh, the other reason is just they were like really good brands. So that happened to be black or white. So here's an Eileen Fisher tank top. And it looks nicer in person than it does right now because it's all wrinkled. Um, it is a petite small, which would fit. I mean, I think it will fit me. Um, so we'll see. I might keep that. I might not. This item I'm going to be returning. It is a J. Crew floral tank. I looked closer and unfortunately I saw a stain. It's like right in the middle. You might not be able to tell because I couldn't tell in the lighting. But then when I got home... It was just like this yellow stain. So I'm going to see if I could scrub it out first. And then if not, I might just end up returning it next time. Or I might just not even put in the work into it, depending on, you know, how I feel. 
Okay, this next item is a Spanx tank. It is a large, but I did get it for me because it kind of does slim in words. So it might work for me. It might not. If it doesn't, I'll just end up selling it. Again, I just want it to work with the skirts that I'm getting or that I have. So that's why I got it. Another White House Black Market white tank with the pocket detail. It looked like it had never been worn, so it was in really good condition. The next item is a cabbie tank blast that is see-through. And I don't know, I have to look up. It didn't come with like a um, cami or slip that you can wear underneath. I'm assuming it didn't, but I will double check. But to find new label cabbie is not very often for me, so I decided to get it. Next item is an Eileen Fisher organic cotton tank top. Luckily, the white, all the white items that I've gotten are like stain free. So that's been nice. And then here is another cabbie blouse with a little pleated detailing at the bottom. And for it being a small, it's actually pretty big. So I might end up keeping it. I might not. Next cream color tank I got, it's by Madewell Texture and Thread. I love this when I saw it, and I got it, this at Plato's Closet. However, it didn't fit me, and I thought it would. So I ended up finding them on Poshmark and bought three in three different colors. Yellow, black, and cream. And I really like them. It's very well made, and I think it's just one of those timeless pieces that will go with anything for a long time and would make a great capsule wardrobe piece. The next item I might also return. I am a plant lover, but I don't know. I just got to thinking about this and I'm like, uh, it might look a little too tacky. It's from H&M and it's just this palm leaf tropical tank top. Next item is this torrid it says poison bottle. It's like a poison bottle print. And it has the skull. I thought it was nice. Comps were decent. Didn't pay a lot. I guess we're moving on into dresses now, not the next dress. So this is a postmark dress. And it has like deer, moose, and pine tree print. Pine tree branches. I thought it was really cute, and I've never seen Postmark do a piece like this, so I thought it was interesting. This next item is a lemon print dress. It is a maxi style dress. It says Peyton and Parker, and then when I further investigated where it was from, it was sold at JCPenney. I like lemon print, as you can see, um, but this is another item that I kind of changed my mind on, so we'll see. I intended it for me, but yeah. Okay, the next dress is a Pendleton floral dress. And it's a size 10 petite, blue with white flowers and a keyhole back. Here's an REI dress. I really loved it. It's an army green color with these rust orange and cream design. And it had a elastic middle with drawstrings. And the best part is it has pockets. I love a dress with pockets. I'm a teacher and it's just nice to store stuff in your pockets, like your phone. This is another print that I may or may not regret later. It's a Boston Terrier dress. And it's by no brand in particular. It's just like Yumi. So I'm assuming it's just like a boutique brand or something. I did see some sell, but like they weren't by the same company, but it was the same print. This is a Madewell Maxi Maroon Red dress. I didn't pay much for it, so I figured I couldn't go wrong. And I don't pick up LuLaRoe very often unless it's for me. And even then, I just kind of like 
change my mind about it and don't keep it too often. But this I absolutely loved. I don't have an occasion to wear it yet, but I'm thinking like New Year's Eve. It's just like this sparkly purple, gold, blue, mermaid, shimmer, rainbow fish vibes. If you're old enough to know what rainbow fish is. So I really liked it. I don't know where I'm going to wear it. It's going to stay in my closet for a while until I have an event that I could wear it at. All right, we have about three more dresses and then we'll move on to jeans and then some miscellaneous stuff. So this next is a brand new at Tags J. Crew black and white hearts dress. I thought it was cute and it's actually J. Crew Mercantile. Okay, this next dress I knew was by Moth because I've purchased it before and I've seen other people purchase it before. However, it did not have the tag, but I just knew and then I confirmed with the inner tag here. But it's this beautiful dress. Can't really tell you what the design is because I don't know. Best of all, it also has pockets. All right, last dress was this Free People maxi long sleeve dress, floral pattern, white, black, and mustard yellow. Best feature, pockets as well. Okay, now we are moving on into jeans. The first pair of jeans or black denim was good by Good American, and it's these crop style jeans, maybe even capris. They're black. And I just really liked the crop look with the fringe at the bottom. The next pair of jeans are for me. They're a pair of American Eagle jeans. They're the crop jegging. I really like these. And every time I find them in store, in decent condition, I go ahead and just buy them. Next pair of jeans are by Hudson. And they are a pair of skinny jeans. I'm sure these will do well. Next pair I got are these 7 for All Mankind High Rise Ankle Skinny. They are a size 16. New with tags. Next we have Pilcrow in the Letterpress from Anthropology skinny jeans with these gold button detailings. I thought they were really cute and in great condition, so I got them. Next two pairs of jeans are um, Seven for All Mankind Dojo jeans. Here is one pair. This one has a longer inseam than the other. I'm about to show you. And this one, that one had the blue sevens, and this pair has the white sevens. And it's a shorter inseam. And then the last few things are kids' items. So the first kids' item I have are these American Girl Be Forever PJs. And I'm assuming they're to match your doll. So this would be for like a young girl who perhaps has the same PJs as her doll. And I believe this belongs to the American Girl doll kit. Shout out to if you had an American Girl. I had three and I still have three in storage. Um, but it just kind of brought back childhood memories. And I know there must be some little girl out there that would enjoy these. And they were hardly like used if at all. So... I'll be excited to sell these to someone who is going to appreciate them for their daughter. The last two kids items were these North Face toddler jackets. I thought they were so cute and again my fave selling outdoor brands. This one has a hoodie, zip front. This one has a zip front as well but it's more of a fleece style with no hoodie. And then the last item I got for me was this cute quilted, not quilted, it's just a dog blanket that looks like it was handmade and it has this inner fleece. I thought it was so cute to use for like my dog's bed or like the car when you go and travel. So that's why I bought that. And then I think that's it. So if you've made it this far, 
thank you for staying. Please consider subscribing because I hope to put out more content. May was just like a crazy month, so I plan on making a May and June sales video and combining all of those sales because it was just crazy with ending school and I got engaged and just all this madness. So thanks for bearing with me. Please subscribe and like this video and I will see you next time. Bye. I forgot to add one more thing. I wanted to share my favorite shopping bag that I take everywhere to go thrifting because I primarily thrift at Savers and they no longer use plastic bags, but they will sell you their reusable ones. And then my recent purchase of this cactus face mask from Etsy and it has a nose wire. So I match my bag and these are the two things that I enjoy taking with me while thrifting. If you are curious, I will leave the Etsy shop down below. And then my bag is from Walmart like two years ago. So I don't think they still sell it, unfortunately, if you like cacti print like I do. So that's that. All right, thanks.